The first step in using RoboCell to do a simulation is to actually build the cell itself in a program called Cell Setup. It's a separate program and we open up Cell Setup and you get your factory floor. If we say File, New, it asks us what robot we want. Uh, for all of the activities that I do in my classroom, we're going to use the ER4U. And the first thing I always do is put my robot into my work cell. And for this activity, I'm going to use no slide base and say OK. Just place it in the middle of the floor. In order to zoom in, I right click on my mouse and move my mouse up or down and it will zoom in or out. If I want to angle the view, I use this bar over here. And if I want to rotate the view, I right click again and use my mouse this way. A couple of the other tools. If I click on this icon, it says redirect camera, I can aim it anywhere in my cell and it will center that portion like so. Notice my robot's hanging in the air. Uh, everything is centered around the robot, so you should always bring your robot in first and don't rotate it or it'll mess up your X, Y, and Z axes. So uh, we have our robot. Next thing we want to do is add a table. Um, that's under general. We'll choose a table. Uh, we'll do a 1,000 by 1,000 millimeter table. I guess that's what they ask for in the first activity. We'll say OK, then we'll set it in the cell. Notice I didn't even come close to setting it under the robot, but that's OK because I can come up here and I can use the drag object command to move something. And I can set it so that my robot is right at the back edge of the table. If, for instance, I accidentally get an extra table or I do something silly, um, I can always use the delete object tool to delete it. The next thing I want to do is I want to add something for the robot to play with. Let's go to materials and let's choose a cylinder. Uh, we'll stick with a red one, 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters. Um, we'll leave it red and say OK and place it on the table somewhere the robot can reach. If I want to see if the robot can reach it, what I can do is double click on my robot and say show envelope. And if all, if it's inside the work envelope, chances are the robot can get to it. That's not always true. If it's right around the periphery of this blue line, there's a chance, depending on what angle your joints of your robot are at, it may not be able to get there. So it's best to stay inside. Um, it's even better if you read the activities very, very closely. It'll say where to put the, the parts. So for instance, in the first activity, this position is supposed to be at an X value of 400 in a Y value of 0. So let's just type that in right there and say OK. Now it's right in the position where it needs to be, smack dab in front. I can turn off my work envelope and now I'm ready to save my cell and import it into uh, RoboCell. One thing that happens all the time in cell setup is students accidentally close the new objects folder and then they have no idea how to get it back. It's really simple. Uh, if you just click on the new object icon, which is this right here, it opens it up. Also, if you want to see what the positions are of all the objects in your cell, you can click on this and it will show the positions in the XY Cartesian coordinate system. Remember that in with this robot, this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. So the x-axis is here, the y-axis is here.